Alright, this is going to be a little test of 14C28N. It has a hair whittling edge finished with 0.25 micron. I'm going to try to see how many cuts in a phone book paper or regular paper it takes to get rid of the hair whittling edge. So to show you that it's hair whittling sharp. It split that hair. And I'm going to be cutting in between where the tape is. I'm going to start off with two cuts. Still cut the hair. Still cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and do five full length cuts. One. Two. Three. Four. Cut it. Cut it. cuts Nine. So nine full length cuts in the phone book paper. Cut it. Cut it. Broke it. Cut it. Cut it. Alright, so that's what, 5, 10, 15 cuts already through phone book paper. I'm going to assume that no matter how much phone book paper I cut, it's not going to get rid of a hair whittling edge. So, let's move on to regular prints or paper. I'm going to make two small cuts. Wipe the edge off. Hmm. Oh, did cut it there. Oh, 
I would say it's no noticeably duller. It doesn't catch. Like over here where I didn't cut anything. It cuts the hair with no problem. See this area of the blade? I didn't cut anything yet. Pull, cuts the hair no problem. And over here. It's not doing it. What about back here? Yeah. Whittle's no problem here at wanting to catch. But it's not like over here where it cuts every time. So, foam to paper is an abrasive and print to paper is. You can actually hear a difference and tell that the edge is dulled a little bit just by listening to it cut foam to paper. Now I'm going to cut using the edge that is not dull. Notice how quiet it is. And I'm going to cut using this portion of the blade where it, had, where it suffered some abrasion from the printer paper. You can hear it's a little bit louder. Now I'm going to use this portion of the blade which is still hair whittling sharp. See, it's much quieter. What I want to be able to do later is get a microscope that has some good video quality and show you exactly why the edge is doling. Get something that's about 100 or 200 X magnification so you can see what exactly is happening to the very apex of the edge as it dulls on different materials sounds like something interesting plus I'll be able to show you the different grit scratch patterns that's something a lot of people are interested in the different scratch patterns that different stones make and how this drop refines the edge.